Hey guys, Jay here from E2 Language. In this lesson, we're going to look at IELTS Writing Task 2, and I'm going to show you a three-step introduction that applies to every single IELTS Writing Task question that you will see. It's really simple, it's really good. Here we go. Three-step introduction. The first sentence you want to write of every introduction for any essay question type is a neutral background sentence. I'll show you what that means in a second. I'm going to go through and show you how to apply this introduction to every single question type. The second sentence is where you rewrite the question in your own words. And the third sentence, you use this phrase, which is this essay will, and you tell the reader what you will tell them. All right, that's a little bit crazy. How, what that really means is this. Think about an upside down triangle. The first sentence of your introduction is the neutral background sentence. It's broad. It's broad. And what neutral means is that it does not have an opinion. No opinion. It's just a background sentence on the topic. The second sentence, you rewrite the question. You're getting closer now to the topic. You rewrite the question. Third sentence, this essay will. So what we're going to do is we're going to apply this introductory uh, three-step framework to all of these IELTS essay types, the problem solution, double question, agree, disagree, discuss both views, discuss both views and give your opinion, advantages, disadvantages, advantages, disadvantages, and give your opinion. So let's look at problems and solutions first. So imagine this is what you see on test day. Okay, it says every year more and more students choose to study online rather than attend classes on campus. What do you think are the causes of this? What solutions can you suggest? So, you need to be able to write the introduction of your essay just like that. You need to know how to do it. The first sentence, the first thing you do. Because it will make your mm, test a lot easier. Because you go, right, I know the E2 language introduction. So let's apply this. So here it is. On top you'll see the question and then you've got the neutral background sentence. Rewrite the question. This essay will. What does that look like? Well, let's have a look. So let's have a look at the neutral background sentence. Studying online is becoming increasingly popular. Just a neutral background sentence. Now I rewrite the question in my own words. So here it says Every year, more and more students choose to study online rather than attend classes on campus. I wrote, each year, more students opt to study online as opposed to attending classes on campus. So I've just rewritten that in my own words. The third sentence, because this is the problem solutions, whoops, solutions question, this essay will discuss the reasons why this is happening and put forward several solutions for this issue. Cool. Let's do another one. Three-step introduction. Neutral background sentence. Rewrite the question. This essay will. That's what you have to memorize. So for this one, we're looking at the double question. Uh, this is the same as the one we just saw before. Every year, more and more students choose to study online rather than attend classes on campus. But here's the two questions. Why do you... Uh, Sorry, why do students prefer to study online? What can universities do to attract students to study on campus? How do we write our introduction? Well, we need a broad, neutral background sentence. Studying online is becoming increasingly popular. There's no opinion in there. It's just a background sentence. Then what do we do? We rewrite the question. Each year, more students opt to study online as opposed to attending classes on campus. Third sentence, this essay will. This essay will discuss why students prefer studying online and provide options for how universities can bring them back to campus. Because this essay will do this and do this. This essay will discuss this and this. So I've answered that question in my introduction. Let's do another one. Three-step introduction. Neutral background sentence. Rewrite the question. This essay will. Cool. This time we'll apply it to to what extent do you agree or disagree question type. So this one's a bit different. Studying online is far more effective than studying on campus. 
To what extent do you agree or disagree? This time it's not talking about becoming more popular. This time it's talking about effectiveness. This is the, cre uh, the key term here. So here it is. There's the question on top. Broad background neutral statement. The effectiveness of studying online is debatable. Rewrite the question. Well, what's the question? Studying online is far more effective than studying on campus. Some people believe that it is much more effective than traditional classroom-based learning. That it, referring back to uh, studying online here. This essay will discuss why online study is far more effective than campus-based study. Cool. There's my three-sentence introduction. It works every time like a little gem. Three-step introduction, neutral background sentence, rewrite the question, this essay will. Let's apply it to discuss both views. Some people think studying on campus is the most effective way to learn, while others believe that studying online is more effective. Discuss both views. Don't give your opinion. Fine. This is what I said. A broad, neutral background sentence. The effectiveness of studying online is debatable. Rewrite the question. Some people believe that it is much more effective than traditional classroom-based learning, while others do not. This essay will discuss both sides of the argument in detail. Fine. Let's do the next one, where we apply it to dus uh, sorry, discuss both views and give your opinion. So it's exactly the same, but this time there's a little phrase here that says, and give your opinion. So the third sentence is going to change. Okay, first sentence, broad background neutral statement, the effectiveness of studying online is debatable. Some people believe that it is much more effective than traditional classroom based learning while others do not. This time, this essay will discuss both sides of the argument in detail and provide evidence as to why online learning is superior. You can see that I've got this opinion part there as well. So I'm going to discuss both views and I'm going to give my opinion. So that third sentence is really critical because what the third sentence does is you start off with the broad background neutral statement. You rewrite the question in your own words. That third sentence sets the trajectory for your essay. This essay, reader, will discuss buh, buh, whatever it is. And then, of course, in your following paragraphs, you follow up on that third sentence. This is how you write a logical, coherent essay that flows. Let's do another one. So again, three-step introduction, neutral background sentence, rewrite the question, this essay will. Let's do the advantages, disadvantages. So, some people think studying online is more effective than studying on campus. What are the advantages and disadvantages of studying online? Fine. Um, so again, I've used a broad background one here. The effectiveness of studying online is debatable. Rewrote the question. Some people believe that it is much more effective than traditional classroom-based learning, while others do not. Third sentence, discuss the advantages and disadvantages. This essay will discuss the positive and negative aspects of online study. You could have just written discuss the advantages and disadvantages of online study. That's fine. This one, no opinion. Three sentence introduction. It works every time. Cool. Let's do another one. So three step introduction, neutral background sentence, rewrite the question. This essay will. Let's do the advantages and disadvantages plus opinion. This is the final one. So, some people think studying online is more effective than studying on campus. Discuss the advantages and disadvantages of studying online and give your opinion about which one is best. So it's not just both sides, the advantages and disadvantages, it's also your opinion. Fine, let me read the third sentence here. These two are the same, broad background, neutral one, rewrote the question. Here we go. This one will have an opinion. This essay will discuss the positive and negative aspects of online study and argue why studying online is superior because it asks me which one is best. Fine. Last one. Advantages, disadvantages and opinion. This one is the question that asks you this. Do you think the advantages of studying online outweigh the disadvantages? 
So studying online is... Wait, 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 wait. Let's read the whole thing. It says, each year more and more students choose to study online. So this is not about effectiveness. This is about popularity, increasing popularity. Do you think the advantages of studying online outweigh the disadvantages? So my broad background neutral sentence is based on this, and it's about popularity. So studying online is becoming increasingly popular. Rewrite the question. While studying online does have some deficits, these are negligible compared to the benefits uh, th because it's talking about the advantages here. So I've, I've sort of rewritten that part. This is a bit tricky, this one here. But my final sentence. So what did it ask me? It said, do you think the advantages of studying online outweigh the disadvantages? This essay will discuss why the advantages of studying on online do in fact outweigh the disadvantages. I've actually just used language from there directly. You can write this in your own words. That would be fine. Cool. That's it. That is the three sentence introduction. Broad background neutral statement that has no opinion. Okay, maybe about increasing in popularity or becoming um, more controversial or is hotly debated, something like that. Make sure you read the prompt to make sure your background statement is related directly to the prompt. Second sentence, rewrite the question in your own words. You can use some words uh, f directly from the prompt. You don't have to change every word into a synonym. Third sentence, the critical one, this essay will. And I like the word discuss personally. It just works for every essay. This essay will discuss whatever. Okay, so make sure you read that question carefully. Cool. If you need any help with your essay writing, people do check out www.e2language.com. We offer tutorials, live classes, written feedback, methods that work, lots of practice materials, and heaps and heaps more. See you guys soon. Ta-ta.